agricultural industries are some of this country's most active adopters of new technology. One industry organisation in particular, the Australian Meat Processor Corporation, is all about making the red meat processing industry as sustainable and efficient as possible. And to make that happen, AMPC has a very strategic research and education partnership with the highly regarded the University of Queensland's Advanced Water Management Centre. Over the long term, the red meat industry has a goal of moving towards zero waste discharge and off-the-grid meat processing plants that are completely self-sufficient. Immediate issues for the industry are improved water usage and waste management. European expertise, coupled with Australian experience, is being applied to a number of projects, including finding the best options for the recycling of treated non-potable water. At least 40% of the uh, water can be uh, saved, which is quite a lot already. One of the strengths of the Advanced Water Management Centre uh, is that we have this mix of in-depth industry experience, but also this fresh perspective. Um, and that's a really great uh, combination that provides innovation in research. The type of innovation that comes from having a detailed understanding of what you're dealing with. A typical Australian meat processor that might be processing around 600 head of cattle per day, there's actually enough energy in their wastewater to power around 500 Australian homes um, or to offset somewhere in the range of 20 to 50% of the energy that they use on that site. There's also enough nutrients in that wastewater, phosphorus in particular, um, to support around four to 500 hectares of agricultural land. AWMC is working on the most efficient way to access that phosphorus and is using a crystallisation technology to create struvite. And where struvite technology is, is an important step forward for the industry is that not only are we generating a value-add product, a renewable fertiliser stream, it's actually cheaper to produce struvite than it is to remove phosphorus by more conventional treatment technologies such as ferric or alum dosing. Nutrient recovery is one area of research. Another is the capture and conversion of wastewater's organic components into energy. New and emerging technologies such as anaerobic membrane bioreactors are being customised for the meat processing industry. As well as being more efficient than conventional covered anaerobic lagoons, they need far less land. So one of the things we had to do is actually understand how to run the reactor and how to handle the membranes to reduce fouling and actually get optimal performance. Uh, and so what we were able to achieve was we were able to convert more than 95% of the organic material into biogas. We were able to release the nitrogen and phosphorus for collection downstream and we were able to produce an effluent that was completely free of solids. Uh, and we were able to do this in a reactor technology that was around 1 20th the size of a covered anaerobic lagoon. I would phrase it maybe we're going from two football fields into one goalie box. In recent years, the industry has invested extensively in biological processes to remove nitrogen from wastewater before it's discharged back to the environment. To function, the bacteria in these lagoons need oxygen and a source of carbon to grow. The result is a great deal of sludge is created. AWMC's research is showing that by adjusting operational specifications, impressive savings can be made. By changing the dissolved oxygen set point, we're actually able to reduce the aeration requirements by around 25%. We're able to reduce the requirement for external carbon by 40% and we're able to reduce sludge production by around 30%. But we can actually go a number of steps further. So by, by reducing the dissolved oxygen even lower, we create conditions for a process called anaerobic ammonia removal. Um, now this is a process that can use exactly the same infrastructure, but it's a very different biological process that occurs. And under these conditions, the oxygen demand is reduced by more than 60%. The need for external carbon is completely eliminated and the production of waste sludge is almost virtually eliminated. Current technologies look to remove nitrogen cheaply. 
New technologies look to capture nitrogen as a value-add product, and AWMC is using algae and purple phototrophic bacteria to convert the recovered nutrients into new sources of animal feed. Leading the phototrophic organism research is another of the centre's international recruits. What's particularly interesting is that they then convert these constituents into uh, proteins and uh, a number of other valuable components such as vitamins, carotenoids, but also um, chlorophyll. So basically we remove pollutants from wastewater and we upgrade these pollutants into valuable products which we then um, might be able to use as feed additive for a variety of um, primary industries, for example. AWMC is also working on the flexible use of a processor's existing infrastructure. So when bioproduct markets fluctuate, a process can be switched off and the waste flow redirected. The reaction from processors to AWMC's various research projects is very positive. Every one of our projects is supported by, by an Australian red meat industry partner. Um, whether that's just supplying us with samples and talking about the, the research planning and the research outcomes, or to hosting pilots and large demonstration plan activities. So through every research project we're engaging with the industry, they're talking to us about the research we're doing and the outcomes, and they're talking to us about how that can be integrated into their businesses. And as each R&D outcome is implemented, Meat processors move another step closer to their ultimate goal of zero waste discharge, generators of their own energy needs and a sustainable future for the Australian meat processing industry.